are James and Fahad anti-black women? James and Fahad, some of my favorite content creators when it comes to bro talk, bro chill, bro fill, are having literally the most interesting week or month you can say. Basically, across the pond in Europe and in America, melanated people from all over the world are calling these guys a red flag. At this moment in time, so basically, we don't know. We went on an American tour all the way to the flagrant podcast who was ran by Andrew Schutz who is one of the most outspoken comedians who thinks he can say, say whatever he want or do whatever he want. And because we have that American spirit where you are have the freedom of speech and the freedom of expression, people have just overlooked his particular type of content. Some people like his content, they say because he says whatever he want, but they just don't like when it comes out of his mouth pertaining to their particular demographic or their particular ethnicity. I particularly don't interact with any of this particular content. I just think it's propaganda pushing towards a certain type of uh devaluation system or how you can make stereotypes or create stereotypes about other people but hey, speaking of stereotypes james and fahad who run shits and gigs podcast literally took their tour and met a what flagrant podcast and had one of the most interesting conversations which actually proves the point of what i've been saying in majority of these videos or interactions pertaining to melanated people inside of the uk here, let's run this clip and we can get into that. So we got three videos we're gonna be showing you right now. This is gonna be the first one. It's gonna, the first one's gonna be one of the initial interactions that went viral. The second one is gonna be the apology video. And the third one is gonna bring the assessment, which is gonna answer the question, are James and Fahad anti-black women? Let's see. So let's start this off with the first video that's gonna come out. What is the black girlfriend effect? This is oh, you don't know you about just glow up the other culture. Yeah, so you'll see a, a, a guy who's had a black girlfriend. All of a sudden, he's got buzz cut, like yeah, clean he, shape up. Nah, yeah, yeah, yeah. Nah, yeah. Nah, yeah. Nah, yeah. Nah, yeah. bro. Yeah, I like that. that. Nah, I like that. that. <laughs> they yeah. shave their hair because they start losing it because they're so stressed <laughs> being around this black girl complaining about shit all the fucking time. <laughs> That's why they gotta shave their nah, hair, bro. White guys with black girlfriends, they, they, they grow a beard because there's more cushion when they get slapped the fuck out of it. <laughs> <That's hilarious. laughs> I think I think the black girlfriend effect. Hmm, it might be a protective instinct, bro. You think? Protective. Yeah. Do you guys? Do you guys have you ever had black girlfriends? Yeah. Yeah. yeah, yeah. Do you, have you ever had white girls? Yeah. Yeah. Oh wow. Okay. What's your favorite? <laughs> <laughs> we love them all. Yeah. 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 yeah, yeah, yeah. Oh, Just, really? We love them all. Yeah. That means white. Who no. yeah. <laughs> 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 that, that, that means white. Hey, let me know no. the UL Kendrick fans, get him. <laughs> he called it. Man said Kendrick fans, get him. But it's not even that. For me, like, all right, let's be honest. I'm gonna keep it real. I'm not gonna say sit there and be this whole Dr. Umar of it all. I'm not, I'm not into that. Look, you can't basically say that a certain demographic of people based off the color of their skin act a particular way or one are better than the other because of the color of their skin. That's dumb. I don't see why these guys are laughing as hard. Like, I didn't see one joke that was actually funny. I'm going to be honest. It just was blatant bullshit. And even when this whole particular situation happens and he starts making these jokes about black women in general, you can see him look to his, I don't know if it's his cameraman or his man's behind the camera. I'm talking about... Andrew, you can see him look to it and then smile at the guys like, I'm about to set you up. And they shit all the <laughs> They're not prepared for this type of interaction when it comes against these people that are on the other side of the board. They think that their particular people of Caucasian uh, diabolicalness are, oh, this is what it is internationally. No, big fella. We are dealing with a whole big ball game over in America. It's a different type of it's a different type of standard that's happening over here. These people are intellectually smart, microaggressive, uh like it's so Nut it down to the actual T. And it's not all. It's not all. But there are some strategical demons out there that really set you up like this and expose you guys like this. And because you actually personally might feel this way, you get yourself put on front street. For me, the quick answer to that question was you can't have a perspective on a group of people just because of the color of their skin. That's racist. Secondly... It doesn't matter if you're white, black, Spanish, or Asian, uh, any type of ethnic group. Majority of females are all emotional, more emotional than men in general. So for you to say, oh, black women are this or white women are, that sounds dumb. Like, are you are you educated or not? Like, what, what is going on here? Oh, it was supposed to be a joke. How is, that? Was, that's just dumb. It just sounds dumb. There's no way you could possibly put that in your head and say, it's a joke. How is it a joke? It sounds dumb. The ideologies for you to even believe in that, because she's white and because she's black, they're both more e You sound dumb. 
I'm not going to even get it. It just sounds dumb. Like, let's just break it down. It sounds dumb. Secondly, then these guys literally came up and dropped an apology video, which they e deleted their apology video. They deleted their apology video on TikTok, but the full one is still on YouTube. And we're going to jump in. Mm, yeah, there were uh, a few jokes made um, that were incredibly inappropriate. One, spe <laughs> Bro, incredibly. one specifically pertaining to black women. Yep. Um, and in the clip, um, Andrew was making a joke. Uh, I'm not even going to get into specifics. Making a, uh, like, frankly, like, racist joke. Yeah. And we were laughing at it. Mm -hmm. And to give, there's, there's, first of all, before we get into, like, specifics or anything like that, obviously, there's just literally no excuse. There is no excuse. Agreed. Um, and fight or flight is a real thing. Like, it is, yeah. Fight or flight is a real thing. And it's so, not easy to say, but... When you're in those situations, you you look at it through a lens of like, bro, if it was me, I promise you I'll stand up, I'll kick them cameras down, yeah. I'll smack homeboy in the face, yeah. I'll say this, I'll do that. But when you're in there... Sorry, in that clip itself, there was two times where he literally cut a piece of the wordplay that he was saying out. And you can see it because he'll cut it and then zoom in. And then it's like a piece that he said that the editor took out of that particular situation. I dove more deep on it into my Instagram post. But um, this whole thing, like this whole interaction was cringy as hell. I'm going to keep it real with you. I didn't go too deep into it on my TikTok or my Instagram, but on YouTube, I'm going to really get my perspective. It was cringy. It was cringy. James is sitting there. He's like, well, then, you know, you got, it's, it's unacceptable for how it's like, yeah. And things are not always what they seem. Yeah. And, you know, we got to make sure that we do, do the right thing. Yeah. Like, bro, what the hell? Like, where's the accountability? Why are you not making eye contact with the cameras thus so far? We just started. And why are you guys just co-signing like pre-written propaganda instead of actually being authentic? And I know why. I know why. And I no, I don't know why. I really want to ask these guys this question to understand this, but like I'm not gonna say I know why. But we're gonna I'm gonna drop some more evidence, some more videos in this, and then you tell me if I'm tripping or not. All right, because I just found this recently. Go ahead. You're in shock. You're in shock, and all you want to do is move on. Yeah, yeah. All, all, bro, move on is the fucking do, word, bro. All like, you want to do is fucking move on. Just move on to the next thing. Yeah. Just move on to the next thing. There's and so like many we had times. to say a few times, bro, just move on. Just move just on. Move on. So many different topics. You were like, move on, move on, move on. And yeah, it's not even like about pity laughs or anything. But move on. You're in a predicament where people actually look at you as a voice, a vocal point inside of the inside of a melanated community. And instead of addressing a particular situation because you have power as well, which the people in the community have given you that power, instead of addressing the actual situation, say, bro, 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 what the what are you doing? What is this? Are you good? That's not even funny. That's not even a joke. You're supposed to be a comedian. That's not even funny. You push back on these type of propaganda. Instead of that, you say, no, let's just move on, move on. What are you talking about? Move on. These guys, this guy's literally disrespecting your particular community in your face. Your, your, well, your melanated community in your face. And you're talking about moving on. So what would you do in the UK if this was to happen? What would you do? Do you think that this is acceptable? These guys are British, by the way. What, so is this a normal, well, that's something I've learned while being in the UK. It seems like a normal mentality or culture. Here we go. Or anything, but we just wanted to get, uh, get, get out of that situation. Get of the, get, literally get out of that situation, keep the ball rolling. And we thought it was going to be more of like a a bros chat, yeah, but yeah, it, just it, like, it ended yeah, up being something that's ended up being be. something that's like really, really hurt people that yeah. look to us for support and look mm. to us to feel protected. And protected is the main thing yeah. that I wanted to discuss is that <sighs> it is our duty to protect you guys. Facts. Um, and... It is definitely not cool to be in that situation and again not be the ones to stand up and kick the cameras down and we fucked it on that occasion we did it's not going to happen again and it's about being human it's about mm. realizing that you don't know what you're prepared for you don't know how to prepare for something, something you don't know that you about. don't know yeah. what's going to happen yeah and once it's happened one time you're like fuck all right you learn from your mistakes um and that's literally you that's learn, literally, you literally bro. from your mistakes yeah we man. fucked it and we're like we're sorry being it's very it seems like they're trying to make themselves the victim out of this particular situation where you're looking at it they're like yeah but it's very dis uncomfortable and to be in this bro just say i was a bitch i was a bitch i got an opportunity to go play with the big dogs in america and i didn't want to i didn't want to lose my seat at the table just just keep it real like just say it just keep it real like that i didn't want to lose my seat at the table by dry, by counteracting these ideologies by standing on business. That's what I do every day. 
Like, I stand on business of what actual factual and what's actually correct, but maybe they believe that this is actually correct. Maybe their ideology is not flawed and they have some understanding of what they're saying. I'm going to show you a video right now that just popped on my For You page and maybe this proves a lot. She wants mixed race kids, like she's, her heart is set on it, so she yeah, wants yeah. a black man. That's all she goes for, yeah, yeah, black yeah. men. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Um, and there's this girl that um, she used to watch on a TV show who was obviously black. She was like, oh, I wish I was her. I'm thinking, what? Jesus Christ. She kept on saying, oh, I wish I was black, I wish I was black. I'm thinking, Jesus Christ. What? For starters, if you was black, you wouldn't be getting any black men, so. <laughs> It's just like, that's such, that's such an, that's such a bold statement to say. I wish I was black. I wish I was black. Like, yes. What's you, going on in your life? What, what? Do you know what I mean? You're white, fam. You're white. You're just, winning. You won the game. You're, you're out here. You're just out here white, just <laughs> with all the rights to you. And you want to be black. I'm not saying there's obviously nothing wrong with being black. I love being black, but like. The fact that you... What are you seeing that you're not experiencing? Like, what are you seeing? Exactly. Like, what's so greener over here? Like, what is greener that you're thinking, I'm missing out? It, oh, it blew my mind. It blew Fuck my mind. Obviously, know. there was no negative effects on me, per se, because I still fucked her. Yeah. <laughs> Bro, what? I'm sorry. Like, I, it, it feel like they lost the plot. They lost the plot. What's so good about being black? What's so greener on this other side? Bro, what are you talking about right now? I'm not understanding. Do you not understand how this works? Like, do you not understand why people copy melanated people? What, what we are? Like, do you not understand why it's so amazing to be black itself? Or you think you're from a social construct type of ideology where you're sitting down and like, oh, because we're treated. Bro, we're treated like this because we are the... Bro, this is what I've been saying the whole time. Colonization is crazy. Institutionalization is crazy. And to not know anything, anything about other people, cultures, they sit down and they say, we want to be black. They want to be this because of the popularization that Americans have put onto the social map on an entertainment aspect. Now, for all the Africans and Caribbeans and everybody that want to, bro, this is not one of those type of conversations. Let's be realistic. Forget how people feel. In, let's be realistic, all right? Look at this. Just be, black people are not a monolith. Not all black people are the same. We come from completely different cultures. And I think people need to start clarifying that. They lost the plot. And I'm very disappointed. I look at them differently after this. Even Africans and Caribbeans have more pride in being black than this. Being melanated. Bro. But what do you guys think? What are your thoughts? I'm in shock. I'm sorry.